If you're going to do any type of long range shooting, reading the wind is something that everyone needs to do. Now, there's certain features if you have, for instance, a wind meter, that's gonna make it a lot easier. But we don't always have those luxuries. So there's some basic fundamentals that we can use to judge the velocity of the wind and also the, the direction of the wind. Now, for values of wind for the uh, velocity, you can judge it by, um, for instance, of a very light wind where maybe some smoke would drift. That is zero to three miles per hour. If you start to feel a little wind on your face, that bumps it up from about three to five miles per hour. When you start to see a little bit of dust or papers moving across the range, you really bumped up to about five to eight miles per hour. And anything beyond that, you'll start to see small trees moving. So that should give you an idea of velocities. Now for direction of the wind, obviously if you're pointing at your target, you might be able to pick up some grass and see which direction it's blowing. But you want to think of yourself as part of a clock. You imagine that you facing directly at your target is going to be a 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock range. That is going to be a zero value wind. And on the opposite spectrum, if you have winds coming across you from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, that will be a full value. And anything in between, such as 1 to 7 or 11 to 5 o'clock, is going to be a half value. These are some important and easy to get started features for wind reading.